welcome to SoCal Euro 2018. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> how are you, buddy? I say the same thing every time, but I feel like I'm on camera now, so I feel camera shy. It's, it's, it's always on. Because of this guy, it's always on. <laughs> all right, all right. drives this I don't know you make yourself known Mazda Williams car uh, he is master of Saab 9000s I say that because he has like 14 of them uh, I don't know if they all run actually I'm pretty positive none of them run this one runs but soon I will have a video on that guy on his 9000 graveyard because you know a lot of us go through a lot of sobs and stuff like that but not a lot of us go through a lot of 9000s or even a 9000 at all so William is definitely getting that attention. Tyler Brinkman's C900 convertible soon I'll have a video uh, of his sob story out uh, about his obsession with C900s this thing came all the way from Arizona to be here it's about close to 400 miles supposedly with a uh, blown head gasket right on great for Kimberly to make it out to the gathering with the carbon fiber wrapped roof and spoiler or whatever you call that thing and whatever you call that thing awesome one of the things I really like about out here is that it's also next to a racetrack mission right now we're gonna go look at cars and I'm gonna see which one I can find that I like the most it doesn't have to be soft I just want to see what car I like the most here today that's here today okay I'm feeling this right here let's see what do we got going on here I don't do convertibles but that's proper show off right there whoa that is not oh okay oh okay Super duper custom exhaust coming up the side. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Oh, see, see everything. That's awesome. Diesel. Okay, I may have already found it. Holy crap. A Sirocco. Top three, top two. Oh. Gotta do the top three. Top three? Alright, this has to be a top three. Oh yeah. That's nice. To me it's like a oh, back to the future sports car. Jeez. So this is too much for me, but this is jit. Is this is this paint or is this wrap? 
And if it's wrap, it looks like they did a pretty good job. But yeah, yeah, it's wrap. My boys here behind me just pointed this out. I don't know what this is. Hey, what is this thing again? A sea yacht. From where? These guys are from Spain. Spain. This is cool. I like. Oh, I didn't even notice it was a. It was a hatchback. What in the hell is this? What does it do? This isn't a motorcycle, is it? That's that's too low. Oh my god, it's too low. <laughs> oh! I do not like Ford, but this is loud. I like this. Legit. It's Kyle! Holy crap! When's the last time I saw you? No, wait, no, no, you had the Jetta. Because remember I had the I had the Saab Arrow and we were ra we raced in him. Yeah, I beat you. <laughs> My old buddy is going to show me his card. I haven't seen, I haven't seen since he bought it. Stock. I remember this thing when it was just a baby. Here. There's no way I can cover all of this. Okay, this is pretty unique. I like this. So this looks like I can hold a special place in my heart. I used to have a VR6 in this green. Oh yeah. And turboed. Holy crap. This guy. A car that might actually be smaller than the smart car. But with style. Kinda want it. I hate to say it, but this is probably one of my top three. I just I have a soft spot for these. This look how clean this is. Yes. Another one. Oh man, the buff GLA. This is nice. Is this the supercharged one? Not only is he pulling half a car as a trailer, but he put work into the other half of the car. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, this one's probably the winner. It's so simple, it's so sleek. They didn't even swap the front end to the, the GTI style. Left it as, left it as the, the Jetta. But it's lowered, it's clean. It's interesting, it looks like it's plasti dipped, but it's like plasti dipped the color uh, of the OEM green color, which I used to have clean BBS style looking wheels. I don't know if they're actually BBSs. And this is a VR6, as you can see. It is a five lug. Looks like they did a spoiler delete. That looks like the OEM muffler, maybe. But this, oh, I like this little add-on right here. Look at that. Reptile. Okay, now I get reptile. Now I get the finish. All right. That's not the OEM steering wheel, right? It's been a long time, but I don't think it is. I think that's the newer ones. Sorry to say, that's non-sob. This is probably my choice. My my number one pick right now, mostly because of a sentiment as well. And I got so in depth with this car, I didn't even see that problem. Very, 
For me, a very California feel to it. Then look on the side. Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm like California feel. I didn't even see the little lawn chairs in front of it. That's nice. Probably can't hear it because I have the mic the other way, but that's a definitely a V8 swapped BMW. Griffin front bumper. And what makes it where you can really notice it is the uh, fog light housings. They like stand taller, they're more at an angle. See that's, see how that fog light housing is? Yeah. Compared to this one? Yeah. This is what makes this one a Griffin and legit, yo. Saab. This is the Saab girl. And she, she hates this. You look fantastic. Thank you. Now that's a real engine. That's a real sub. Huh, Tyler? Sub died in 94. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. That was exhausting and burning. I'm sunburnt. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get out of here, say bye to everybody. Fun event. Lots of cool sobs, lots of other cool cars. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>